Uh, how do you plan your your races during the year? Uh, you choose them because you like them, or for the kilometers that they are, or because they are easy or not easy or. Uh, I, I try and pick uh, race courses that are inspiring to me. Uh, so, for instance, Transvolcania, uh, because it's, it, it traces the rim of the volcano, uh, it's, it's very nice, but also uh, um, races with uh, very competitive fields. And uh, this usually ends up being uh, the sky races uh, have become kind of the best races in the world for that, uh, especially the ones here in Europe. Um, so those, this year, my training it, or my race is, is scheduled around the, the Sky Series plus uh, UTMB. Bé, doncs, principalment les escull perquè li agradi el lloc, com per exemple havia escollit la Transvolcania perquè era un recorregut que anava al voltant de, del volcà i doncs li feia il·lusió fer-la. I jo, però principalment el que també fa és planificar la temporada segons el circuit de les Sky Races, que, que és de la Copa del Món, i aquest any és el que, és el que farà i afegirà més a més l'altre tel de Mont Blanc. Algú que l'ajudi, no? Amb la cavall salvem. Why do you say that you do not need support in a race of 80 kilometers like it was last year in Cavall Salvem, no? That you didn't need or you didn't ask for someone to support or follow you during the race? Um, a, a race of 80 kilometers is, it's, it's a pretty simple undertaking. Uh, I need maybe 15 gels, 15 or 20 gels, and uh, the water at the aid stations, there's just nothing extra. Um, um, Yeah, but I, I had a jacket, I and mean, you were required to carry that anyhow. And... <laughs> but I was, I was, uh, I was working hard though, so I was staying warm. And, uh... Yeah, I, mean, I was, I was comfortable, and um, I don't know. I, it's easier. It's easier when you don't have to rely on someone. You don't have to worry about meeting them. Uh, maybe they won't make it to the checkpoint. Um, uh, maybe they won't. Yeah, be there in time. And uh, it's better to be self-responsible and self-reliant. I think. Maybe you are more strong. I thought you arrived in the end of the the race. You stay talking with other media guys. And some guy, and some guys that arrived, uh, and I filled out. <laughs> well, do you support the call? Oh, uh, no, but I'm, I, you know, I'm in the mountains every day, and I'm used to being out in poor conditions, I guess. So it wasn't, it didn't bother me that much. Um, and I, I had a good day of running too. So I suppose if I had had a really bad day. I'd have been more depleted, but. No, tú has dado 80 kilómetros, es una cosa fácil o simple, ¿no? Y que para ir al final son unos 15 gels al que portaba y no necesitaba cap cap suporte extra, ¿no? Que se podía manejar el sol. Aparte, donos ya portaba para ir donos una jaqueta para aguantar donos la pluja y el viento que va a hacer ya y que no va a sentir en cada momento que que necessitaves res més. What do you think about Kilian? I think he's a very, very good athlete, a very good runner, obviously, very good skier. It's he makes he makes it difficult to win a race, and because because he's so good and. Pretty close to being unbeatable in the running world, at least. Um, and he's inspiring. You know, he makes everyone else improve. Don't really, I think he's a great athlete and a great skier. And 
realment fa que algunes curses sigui molt difícil guanyar-lo i que la seva forma de ser i de córrer també inspira a corredors com ell. En ultra trail running, I think it's great because it gets people outside and and they're getting active and, and being healthy and uh, getting an appreciation for the mountains. Um, so I think there's really nothing but positives for it. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, when I started running was 18 years ago. Um, and uh, I guess I started just in school uh, with uh, track and field. And then uh, within a year, uh, I ran my first marathon and, and that's sort of, uh, showed me that I had a, a talent for the longer distances. And so once I got out of school, I knew that I would uh, eventually do ultra, ultra distances. And that's what I do now, yeah. Bé, doncs ell, aquest boom que s'està experimentant aquí de fer curses de llarga distància també està tenint el mateix efecte als Estats Units i ell ho veu com una cosa positiva, perquè al final si tota aquesta gent també aprecia com ell l'entorn de la muntanya i el medi ambient, ho veu positiu. Ell va començar a córrer fa 18 anys, va fer la seva primera marató quan tenia uns 12 anys, des d'allà va veure que les llargues distàncies era una cosa que li anava bé i d'allà fins ara. Uh, which is the race that you have never won and that you would like to? Uh, there's, there's too many to list. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, that I've run before or? Que l'hagi corregut, ja? I mean, I'd like to win Western States. Uh, I've gone there and, and placed second. Um, uh, the UTMB coming up this year is one that I've never run before, but I'm, it's one that I hope to win before I'm done with the sport, so hopefully that happens this year. Uh, but I mean, there's, there's all kinds of races. Like, I would love to win Transvolcania one year. Um, you know, I'd like to win Cavalls de Vent. I mean, every race I line up for, I'd like to win. But uh, the, the big 100 mile races are the most motivating, I would say. Una que sí que ha competit i que li agradaria guanyar és la Western States, que va quedar segon. L'objectiu d'aquest any que li agradaria aconseguir és l'Ultra Trail de Montblanc, que no l'ha fet mai però que té previst fer-la aquest any i li agradaria guanyar-la. I també li hauria agradat guanyar la Transvolcanya si hagués pogut competir i en veritat la llista és llarga, no? Digues. He says that he likes every time more and more to run with uh, light shoes. Uh, any recommendation how to pass to the minimal shoes? Uh, you you need to do the make the transition gradually to allow your your feet and your legs to adapt to the the lighter shoe and. Um, mm -hmm make sure that you're running with efficient form. Um, because it's, uh, if you don't, if you don't, if you aren't patient and you don't do a gradual transition, uh, you could get injured. Um, but I think it's worth giving it a try because uh, uh, ultimately it's, it's, I think it's more fun to be running lighter shoes than, uh, than a lot of the shoes that are on the market. Um, so yeah, just a, a gradual transition. Bé, ell el que et recomana és que facis una transició gradual, que vagis fent-ho a poc a poc i que sobretot que ell creu que és molt més divertit, no? Corre amb aquest tipus de sabates molt més lleugeres, però que sobretot és important fer-ho gradual per no lesionar-se i acostumar una mica el peu i anar entrenant, no? Sí. Com se pronuncia això de nen? Krupitschka. <laughs> yeah, crew pitch cut. Okay. <laughs> I think I think this may be difficult for for Spanish. Uh, no, you can do it. It's just we didn't know. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, the C is is a ch. It's, it's, it's yeah, it's Czech. Okay. Um, do you guys run barefoot? Say. Do you 
Um, I used to more, but now I do almost all of my running in the mountains. So very rarely do I run barefoot. Uh, I used to run barefoot on like a, a football field, uh, you know, on the grass or on the sand. Um, but uh, now almost all my running is on rocks and talus and steep trails, and it's just not practical. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I lost the first part of the. Oh, uh, just uh, I, I run in the mountains all the time, so that's I don't run, really run barefoot anymore. On, on foot, you mean? Yeah, she was wondering if I run barefoot. Ah. Yeah, and I said no because I usually train in the mountains. Then. Ell ja normalment entrena a les a les muntanyes, amb el qual no pot utilitzar aquest tipus de, bueno, sense sabates ni do you plan to do uh, these uh, longer races like to the Giants? Uh, that's, that's a very long race. Um, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, maybe, maybe in several years. There's a lot of other races I want to do before then. Um, the, those very long races, I'm almost more interested in, in, a, in an individual expedition, of maybe using my energy towards something like that rather than an actual race of that length. En principi ara mateix no té previst, diu que igual abans de fer una cursa com aquesta es preferiria fer algun repte personal, una expedició individual. Alguna pregunta més? Ah. Do you have any uh, exercise to train your feet when you run in the mountains? This is in a stable path, or yeah. Um, I mean, this this kind of goes back to the barefoot running. Um, the main reason I used to do a lot of barefoot running was to strengthen the feet, uh, the lower legs. And I mean, I still will do it a little bit every now and then, just not as much as before. Um, but other than that, nothing specific. No. Bueno, recomendaría el barefoot running. No, o que em fortir els peus, però a part d'això res específic.